In this video, you're going to learn how to get started with Evernote, starting with installing Evernote and then creating your first notes and organizing them. So you'll need to go to evernote.com and follow the directions for setting up an account. The account is free and it'll guide you through setting up a password and then downloading the actual Evernote app to your computer. You'll end up at a page where you will pick which browser or which system you have. For me it's Windows and then it will automatically download it and you'll click on it and it'll start to install it on your computer. So let's head over to my Evernote where I have a lot of things already entered and you can learn how to enter some notes. So here we are in my Evernote account and you can see there are a lot of options here. The first one you're going to learn how to do is create a new note. There should be a menu item up in the top and you just click create a new note. You'll have a whole pane here where you can type in a title. So let's say this is a demo note for tutorials. And then you'll add some text that you want to remember. There are a number of formatting options, so you can create a whole note with bolding, different color fonts, underlining, cross through, bullet points, even check marks or check boxes if you want to create a task list. So it's very similar to any other editing function. Now, once you have your text in your note, you'll need to assign it to a notebook and tag it so that you can find it later. But at the top, you'll have some options to choose a notebook that you already have created. If you're brand new to Evernote, you will have the option to create a notebook. And then you'll add a tag to it. Again, there will be existing tags if you already have an account, or you can start creating them right here. So I'm going to say demo notes. See, there's some that are already there, but if you're brand new, there won't be any. Now your new note will automatically show up in your list of notes on the left. It'll look a little bit different if you're on a Mac, since I'm on Windows. You can delete the note just by going up to the right corner here and clicking on delete or right-clicking on the note in your list and choosing Delete, or going up into the top menu and clicking on Edit and Delete. So let's delete this note. I'm going to right-click and do it here. And it's deleted. Now if you want to create a new notebook, there are a few different ways as well. You can go up to File and click on New Notebook or you can go to your notebooks list on the left. I have quite a few already. Right click and click on create notebook. Or you can look at your whole list of notebooks just by clicking on the notebook tab on the left. This is your left hand menu and click on new notebook. You'll get a pop-up box. You can say give it a name. If it's synchronized that means everywhere where you have Evernote this notebook will show up. Or if you have premium, you can have a local notebook that you can use offline as well. So you click OK and you now have a new notebook there. You can also organize your notebooks in notebook stacks. So kind of like filing cabinets where you have drawers inside a filing cabinet that's all related to one topic. The easiest way to do that is to just drag and drop one notebook into another and it'll create a stack. So for instance I have a demo notebook, a demo and a demo tutorials and I might want to put them together. So I'm going to on the left here drag one right on top of the other so they're both highlighted and now I have something that says notebook stack and it has the two notebooks underneath. I'll click on notebook stack and then I'll right click, click rename and maybe I'll just call that demos. And now I can always drag other ones into this stack so that they're organized. Now you'll also want to create tags so that you can easily find your notes later and keep them organized. To do that you have a few different options. You can go to the tag section again on your left hand menu. Here let's close up notebooks. Click on tags. It'll list all the tags you have and you can just click on new tag. You can also right click 
on a tag on the tags menu and click create tag or in when you're in a note itself so let's go back to the demos I'll go into my demo notebook and when I'm in an actual note you can click to add a tag and that can be a brand new one it doesn't have to be one that's already there you can organize your tags just as you did with notebooks by going into tags let's close up the notebooks again and you can drag and drop them into categories here or do it in your complete listing of different tags. So let's go over and find those demos again. So here I have three different ones about demos and I might want to put one underneath another. So let's say we have demo notes and I want to put demo images under there and demo tutorials under there. You don't have to, you can actually have multiple nesting but let's just keep them all at the same level. And there you go, so you can organize all sorts of tags and categories. Finally, for this video, let's take a look at shortcuts, the shortcut menu on the left. So anything you want to have easy access to, so you don't want to have to go through, say, a whole long list of tags or notebooks, you can drag and put into a shortcuts section right at the top here. And it can even be notes that you put in there, not just notebooks. So if you have, say, a reminder that you want to make sure that you see right at the top, and we'll discuss reminders later, you can just drag that and put it in the shortcuts menu. And you can actually put that, reorder these as well, however you want. So I might want to move one up. You just look at the line or move things down. And that's all for this video. That should get you off to a good start. In other videos, we'll talk about the web clipper and adding multimedia and images to your notes as well.